Picoscope 7, version 7.0.114. Start, stop, and buffers. This video is sponsored by AES Wave. To start and stop your waveforms, up in the left hand corner there's a stop or a run button. Placing run will capture waveforms. Clicking it again will stop the capture of the waveform. Up over to the right is your buffer, and if I click on the waveform where it says 64, we have 64 screen captures here. And if I scroll to the left, we can get all the way over to the number one screen capture. If I want to jump to the number 10 screen capture, I click on number 10, and you can see the difference in the pattern down here below. Pico 7 also gives us the option to choose between a small thumbnail, a medium, a large, or even an extra large thumbnail. Additionally, we can show the time of the capture by clicking on Capture Time, and this will tell us when that capture was taken place. Here we have it set to a maximum of 64 buffers. If we increase the time base from 20 milliseconds per division up to 50 milliseconds per division, you'll see that we only get 31 buffers. And if I increase it up to 100 milliseconds per division, we're now only getting 15 buffer windows. That's because there's more information on the screen and the buffer fills up sooner. It's always an attempt to use 64 buffers, but because of the information, we may only get 15 or less. To close your waveform buffer, just simply click the X right here on the little drop-down window, and that will close the preview of the buffer windows.